guys, it's Angela Wilson reporting live on the gold carpet of the ABFF Honors here in Los Angeles. Although it's raining outside, it's raining stars here in the Beverly Hilton. Stay tuned to see all of our interviews with the presenters, stars, and honorees. Stay tuned. One question for you. Denzel Washington, he's being honored tonight. Yes. What's your favorite Denzel movie? Man on Fire. Oh, that was quick. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, I first met you last year at the Essence Music Festival before Queen Sh Yes, before it even came out. And now it is this big hit. Did you think it was going to be this mega phenomenon? I mean, it was so well done before it was even a, a, an audition for me. The writing was amazing. All the creators, a part of it was amazing. So I could only hope for that. But a year later, you know, I only auditioned for it February last year. So a year later to see us being, you know, celebrated... And our people accepting, I mean, it's, it's an honor, man. And I feel like we put in the work. So it's really dope to see it come back to us. And it's well-deserved. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, Denzel Washington, he's being honored tonight. Name your top three Denzel movies. If you can pick three. <laughs> I know, right? John Q, Training Day. Ooh, that last one. Uh, Fire Give me some more. Give me some more. Malcolm X. That's the there one. we go. That's High five. That's it. <laughs> Honors exudes black excellence. What does black excellence mean to you? It's really funny because um, the show that I'm on called The Quad, it's all about black excellence. That's kind of like a lot of the promo stuff that we've been doing. And black excellence can mean so many different things. You know, like I think that black people are powerful and beautiful and we have something that people just don't have. Amen. And that should be celebrated. Absolutely. And I think that's what ABFF does. They celebrate diversity and they make it a beautiful thing, not something that needs to be looked down on, which is, I feel like, happens in our society, which is wrong at this point. Way too often, too. Way too often. One question for you. The ABFF Honors is about black excellence. Yeah. So what does black excellence mean to you? Uh, I think it's that thing, of, for me, it's just being your best self, regardless of who's watching any time of the day and creating our art and being authentic to us and telling stories that are real to us and true to us and connect with each one of us. And, and I feel like we year over year, we are starting to see more and more people step to the plate. For a long time, we didn't get the opportunity to create content. We didn't get the, the opportunity for our content to be distributed. And I think it made us better. It made us work harder. And so you're seeing all this content come out and nobody's questioning how good or how authentic it is because it's the shit is good. What's your favorite Denzel movie? If you had to pick one. One movie? <laughs> or your top three. Woo! <laughs> you know, his top... I actually dug the Enoch joint that he just recently did. I like that he was... He does... He went into a story that was supposed to be left out of the Bible and brought it back to us. I think that was a great moment. Of course, all his John Q's moments, his, when he's being gangstered out. I love him there. <laughs> favorite Denzel movie? American Gangster. I have so many different ones, but American Gangster is my favorite. I will go with Remember the Titans because I identify with that one so much growing up. Yeah. Mine is Training Day. Training Day. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Uh oh, we got another biopic coming. Source Magazine. It's a pleasure to meet you, Maxwell, and we love you too. How many mics do you got? Just one. Just one. All I got is one. All you need is what? All I need is one mic. Yes, the ABFF Honors is the epitome of black excellence. We're celebrating us tonight. We're supporting each other tonight. What does black excellence mean to you? Uh, simply being the best that you can, you know what I mean, and, and making sure that our, our ancestors and our generations before us are proud of us and proud of what we're doing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, you look so beautiful. Who are you wearing? Atsi and Osta. Beautiful. ABFF honors. We exude black excellence, right? We're here supporting ourselves and just celebrating ourselves. So what to you does black excellence mean? Hmm. You know, there's so many different answers to that. I think that black excellence is being true to yourself. Uh, black excellence is holding up those who came before. Black excellence is holding up those who will come behind. Black excellence is forging your path and making it wide enough. I like that. That's a word. 
<laughs> good to see you again. Good you. Yes, good to see you again. You good. Uh, but a lot has changed in your life since then. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're keeping busy. And as we said in that uh, our dinner, there's a lot of things that we got going on. Um, we have... Uh, audio podcast series uh, with Lawrence Fishburne that my brothers and I produce it's called Bronzeville about the south side of Chicago it's incredible people can check it out on iTunes it's free um, and several other platforms um, I got good news I'm going to be rocking with a good friend of mine Omari Hardwick on the upcoming season 4 of Power Yes. The Renz, you're from Chicago. Yes, My photographer is from Chicago. I live in Chicago. Okay, but what's going on there? Listen, you know, honestly, you know, we know what's going on in terms of we see the violence that's happening in, in, in the town, and we got to get down to the, the true root of the issue. I think for me, my opinion is more than just, you know, the violence over territory and, 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 and street politics. There's other things that are dealing with the government and the street and uh, the state level and the federal level when we're talking about politics and we got to have more opportunities shot sound shot sound always Corey that is all, love is love bro shot sound right there all over and that's what we're doing we're talking about that community it's important for us to have opportunities in Chicago like so many other inner cities and when you don't have those opportunities you know there's going to be uh, 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 havoc and there's going to be you know the things that we're seeing you know Again, it's not just because black folks can't get along with each other. There's some real issues that we have to deal with, and there are other people that need to be you know, held accountable for where we are.